If wild pigs are around you, they will attack you. They destroy crops, threaten and kill other animals. So how can we prevent attacks from wild pigs? Follow us through this video. Using hunting dogs to hunt wild boar requires professionalism and caution. First, you should choose the type of hunting dog that is suitable for your environment and conditions. Each region may have its own regulations, and non-compliance can result in serious legal consequences. Make sure you learn about local regulations and follow them. To deal with wild boars, the government has also issued a directive allowing wild boar hunting. So how can we make hunting easier? Please join us in following these hunters to see what skills they hunt with. They will look for wild boars in this forest. When they detect a target, they will aim and shoot at the head or chest. However, the head is preferred when hunting wild boar. That is why shots to the head are more fatal than parts of the chest, because they are more likely to cause immediate unconsciousness. Shots to the chest do not cause immediate momentary loss of sensation. That's what professional hunters know to come up with a more damaging attack. If you are not an experienced hunter, you need to know the importance of teamwork. There may be danger. Shots to the chest do not cause immediate momentary loss of sensation, but you could accidentally miss or aim directly nearby, so it is necessary to have a teammate to support you, as the strength and the running speed of a wild boar is something that you are not looking to face. Hunting wild boars by helicopters is quite expensive. However, it will be safer for you, and you can easily search for areas with wild boars. Fences are the most effective measure to prevent wild boars from entering your farm. To build a sturdy fence, you need to follow some basic rules. The height of the fence matters. It needs to be between 1.8 and 2.4 meters high to ensure that pigs cannot jump over it. Fence construction materials are also important. Use sturdy materials such as hardwood, iron, or steel to construct the fence. Avoid using materials that are easily destroyed by wild boars. Digging underground is also an important factor. Fences need to be buried at least 0.6 meters underground to prevent pigs from digging to penetrate them. This deep burial also ensures the stability of the fence. Periodic inspections are necessary to ensure the effectiveness of the barrier. Repair cracks or damage immediately to ensure that the fence remains protective. Traps are an effective way to catch wild boars. There are different types of traps to suit your specific situation.
Snap traps are simple but effective traps. It works by collapsing when the pig steps on it. Barrel traps are often filled with food to attract pigs inside and then close to capture them. Net traps use a net to catch pigs as they enter and become trapped in the net. Choosing the type of trap depends on your specific situation and the scale of the infestation. Note that the use of traps requires compliance with wildlife rules and regulations in your area. Herbicides can become an effective tool to control the spread of wild boar and protect the environment. They have the ability to destroy plants and the food sources they need to survive, thereby creating an area that is unattractive to them. However, the use of herbicides for this purpose requires caution and sophistication to ensure that they do not harm the environment or the food of other animals and plants. To do this job effectively, first of all, it is necessary to choose an environmentally safe herbicide. This product has been tested and found to be harmless to plants, animals and water sources. Choosing an appropriate herbicide is an important step in ensuring effectiveness in controlling feral swine. Furthermore, following instructions on dosage and usage is very important. Failure to comply with the directive can cause excessive use of herbicides, leading to environmental pollution and negative impacts on surrounding ecosystems. People using medications need to ensure that they use the correct dosage and application of the medication according to instructions to avoid unwanted effects. Once the herbicide has been applied, observe the area to ensure that vegetation is no longer thriving and that wild boar food has been destroyed. If necessary, repeat this process to ensure the area remains unattractive to them. Finally, ensuring that wild boars no longer have a food source on your farm is an important part of controlling them. This may require controlling their access, using fences or other protective measures to prevent wild boars from accessing food sources on the farm. By combining prudent herbicide use with environmental protection measures, we can ensure a balance between feral boar control and protection of the natural environment. Are there any measures to deal with the invasion by wild boars? Please comment below with all of your great ideas. Now are you ready for the next video today? Let's continue.